Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm in Winchelsea, just outside Rye, uh, one of the sink ports uh, around this area in East Sussex. And it's a beautiful day. A bit windy up here, but still quite warm, blue skies. I'm just by the ancient stone gate. There were three of them that were uh, entrances into Rye, uh, sorry, into Winchelsea back in the day. Um, what's incredible is the sea would have, is now two miles out. The sea would have been right up here in medieval times. And now it's over there. It's lovely to see the sea again as well. So what we're going to do is have a little walk around. I haven't been here since 2008 when I came to Rye with Al for the day. But it's absolutely gorgeous here. Look at it. So uh, yeah, join me. I can get inside one of the towers. You've got cars coming by because this is the main entrance into Old Winchelsea. So uh, everyone's very careful though. Yeah, but lovely. Nice to be back. I've been once again been wanting to come back here, like so many places, for many, many years. There, there we go. The Strand Gate. The Strand Gate is one of the three surviving medieval gates of Winchelsea, built in circa 1300, shortly after the building of New Winchelsea. With other medieval buildings, the Strand Gate would have been rendered white and would have looked a magnificent sight from the sea, which is now right over there. Some of the architecture around here is incredible, really incredible. Sorry, it's very, very bright today. And um, lots of history in the area. So we'll have a little walk around. Built in 1851, Townwell. So this is the Church of St. Thomas, which was built around 1288, about the same time that Old Winchelsea was built. Um, the lovely old church, with these little ruined parts, uh, which really give it a real aesthetic, you know. Now we got in last time, I wonder if it's open, we'll have a look in a minute. This is what I wanted to show you. The grave of Winchelsea's and Rye's very famous resident, Terence Allen Spike Milligan. Spike Milligan's grave, 1918 to 2002. This is his grave. Sorry, Paul Allen, I'm nicking a bit of your, your content here, actually, going around old graves of famous people. But Spike Milligan's grave, yeah. How fantastic is that? Lovely. I don't know much about the history. I don't know if I explained more in the old video diary we did here in 2008. Um, but it's really nice. Very big. Very big. So you can tell there's multiple layers of church building going on over the years. But say the original goes back to the 1300s. There was a settlement here before 1288, but here are the rectors of Winchelsea, and it goes back to, uh, yeah, 1215, earliest record, mentioning the church of St. Thomas in Old Winchelsea, going right up to 2018. That 
that was nice. I had a nice chat with a, a visitor to the church who'd never been here before. She was a Christian, uh, so she's just talking about the peace of God in the church and how she feels about it. It's really nice, although I'm not religious as everyone knows, but I'm very interested in consciousness. Um, but yeah, really lovely, what a lovely, lovely lady. Had a, she had a really nice sweet energy, really nice. Just going back to Spike Milligan, I, the funniest thing I think I ever saw him do was just so ridiculous. He walked up to one of his regular players with glasses on, with no lens on, and the other actor said, why are you wearing no lenses? And Spike goes, because I can see perfectly well. <laughs> this is me <laughs> every time, so funny. The lovely court hall. Court hall. I don't think it's open. I think it's the information uh, centre. The court hall. Isn't it lovely? Fantastic stonework. Yeah, Winchelsea Court Hall. The court hall dates from the building of New Winchelsea in the late 13th century and Grade 1 listed. In 1303, uh, the town's first recorded mayor became Admiral of the Sink Ports and the Southern Fleet, because this is one of the Sink Ports. Uh, from the 1100s when it was created, along with Rye uh, and a couple of others. I can't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> There's apparently 50 medieval cellars underneath Winchelsea, which are all protected, I think. Oh, it's so peaceful. nice pub there, the new inn, but I've got dinner booked at the ship just by um, Mermaid Street in Rye later on so I'll wait till then. I haven't eaten today at all actually so I'll get 24 hour fast. This is the chapel of uh, the Methodist movement, uh, John Wesley the founder under the providence of God of the Wesleyan Methodist Church who preached in this chapel in January 1789 and it was erected in 1785. So, uh, yeah. This is the Blackfriars Barn and Cellar. But you can't get in, they've uh, Put a bolt on the on the gate. Why I don't know, uh, but there it is. I did come in inside before. God, I start filming every every traffic go by, all the cars go by. Um, yeah, but there it is. You've also got St John's Gable uh, ancient ruin up the road as well. Then I think with just a partition remaining. So just a little walk around Winchelsea, one of the original sink ports. It's a lovely day. Hope you've enjoyed the little video. As we head into Rye, staying at the Mermaid Inn, more videos to come. And if you like this little video, this little walk around, please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. And we'll see you next time in 1066 country. Take care.